Hi there, welcome to today's painting tutorial. In this video, we're gonna paint this hippo with acrylic paints, so let's get started. And let's start with a size zero spotter brush. I'm gonna take the black paint and then we'll put it around the eye area. And if you would like to paint along with me, you can just grab this sketch linked below in the description. Okay, so I'm carefully putting in the black of the eye. And then let's move to, I have a burnt umber here. Let's put some dark value in the nostril. We'll put some in this nostril. And then we can put a dark value in the ear. And then we'll put some over on this side. We're just kind of blocking in the darkest values to start with. I'm trying to go around this area of the mouth. I'm trying to see where the top and the bottom of the mouth is. Put some right through this line. Putting in these dark shadows are really going to help us kind of establish the rest of the colors and where they need to be placed. Kind of come down and feather this out a little bit. Okay, and then I want to go with this dark color kind of around some of these folds. And the neck. Then I'm going to switch. I have this dark gray color and let's do some lining and kind of shadowing with this color. So underneath the neck we can have some folds there. Okay, and then I want to put this color around the eye over on this side and also these other in a darker shadows. Okay, so let's come up behind the ear, put in some dark color there. We can work around the eye as well, so we can put this shadow in. Then around this part of the eye, we can use that dark gray there. Just kind of go over the lines of the sketch. And we'll kind of build this part. We'll put this area here. And then we can come around here, add this to the ear on this side. Okay, and then I can try to kind of smooth out some of those lines and try to build a little bit of form there. Just by kind of extending them and blending them out a little bit. Then I'm going to put the shadow over here. Okay, so I think that looks good. Let's add a little bit of color to this eye. So let's put, you can do a burnt sienna. Put that in around the eye. All right, so we have our dark values. Now let's think about some mid-tones. And I want some cooler mid-tones and some warmer ones. So let's start with the cool first. And I'm going to take this size, let's see, I have a size 4 filbert. And then I have some gray paint here, which is a good mid-tone. And this is mixed with some flow medium. Let's see if we can put that in try to build some 
form. So I'm thinking about the direction of the form as well. This area that's kind of curved, I'm trying to make my brush strokes curve in that direction. Okay, and I added the flow medium just to make, it really helps kind of smooth out the paint so that your strokes just a little bit smoother. And you're not going to see the brush strokes as much as you would if it didn't have the medium in it. Okay, so we'll come around this edge. Put some on this side. So I'm thinking what areas are going to be more in shadow and then where the light is really hitting other areas. So we're trying to use those values to help us build some form. Okay, let's go around the ear. Okay, so now let's try another mid-tone and for that I'm going to use this beige color and let's put some titanium white in there just to lighten it a little bit and let's see if we can pop that in. So this beige color is really showing up around the nose area. Try to put that in. And kind of underneath the mouth. And that difference in color is going to help kind of build our shapes as well. Kind of separate the mouth area from the rest of the body. Let's add some more white. Okay, so now let's take, let's add a little bit of white and then let's put that around the eye. Okay, and then we can put some in the ear. Go around this ear slightly. Okay, so now I'm going to mix up a lighter value of the gray. And so we'll use, I'm going to take the titanium white. We're going to use quite a bit of that. I'm going to put a little bit of flow medium in here. And then let's take a little bit of the gray. Let's see if we can make a light gray color. And then let's try to put that in on some of these areas that we have yet to kind of cover up or fill in. These areas, they're a little bit lighter, so they're going to be coming forward in space. And this is kind of where the light is hitting the object. Okay, like right here for that eye, makes it look more three-dimensional. into the ear. Okay. Okay, so now let's do a little bit of refinement. 
So I want to kind of blend. Let's take some burnt sienna. Let's see if we can put a little bit more tension to this area of the mouth. I'm going to rinse off that brush and then see if I can kind of blend that with some water. Just give a little bit more of a gradation, subtle gradation of color. Okay. So then I want to add, let's put, so I'm going to do a little bit of glazing. Actually, let's, let's start with, let's put a little bit more um, titanium white paint. Let's do our highlights first with some white. So we'll take the titanium white and let's go around the eye. This is kind of the highlight areas. Put a little bit in that cheek. I'm going to go around this muzzle or the nose right here and then that side. can put a little bit under here and maybe a little bit under the chin just trying to put in some areas that I want to kind of stand out and then let's soften this paint right here kind of blend that out Okay, so I'm going to take some burnt umber, let's mix it up with some primary red, be a little more burnt umber, and then see if we can add that into the nostril, then into this one. We could maybe add a little bit to the mouth as well. Okay, so let's do a little bit of glazing. So we'll take the size 4 filbert. And I'm going to take this blue color. It's just a light sky blue with quite a bit of water. And then let's see if we can add that. But I want it to be in some of these shadow areas. Just to help give us a variety of color and interest. We can also use it to kind of cover up some of those white spots of the paper as well because we didn't really use an underpainting. Okay, so now let's do that same type of thing but use a yellow. So I'm going to mix a yellow with some beige and see if we can get kind of a golden glazed color. I might actually take this yellow ochre because it's a little bit more diluted. So that yellow is a little bit too bright. Okay, so let's see if we can kind of put this in. It's a little bit too intense. Just water it down a little bit. Just going to put it around here, just in certain areas. Okay, and that's just going to be another kind of highlight. It's going to come forward in space. So I'm going to add this little mark here, kind of lost that from the sketch. Okay, so let's add in a little bit darker values. So at this point, I'm just kind of going around and kind of putting it back in some of the dark tones that we might have lost. Put back a little bit more shadow there. Kind of in between the mouth right here. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm gonna add a little bit of this gray down here. A little bit more around the mouth, or under the chin rather. Okay. All right, so now let's take more titanium white and then we can kind of go back, try to bring out some more of these highlights. Okay, so let's take the zero spotter and see if we can put a tiny bit of white into the eye. Just see if we can do a real small little highlight there. And the eye is pretty small. Okay, so we'll let that dry. And after it's dried, we could take a acrylic marker and let's see if we can put kind of a few little hairs. These are kind of the whiskers. Okay, I think that's good. Okay, so I hope you give this a try. This is just a quick sketch painting that you can do of a hippo, so it's a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more tutorials and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.